Hello everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're just gonna hop right into it. We are going into day five of spring year one. In the last episode, we were just at Willie's dock there, fishing in some bubble area, and we ended with me trying to get the 300 logs, but I ran out of energy. But uh, today, we're gonna get those 300 logs. I think I'm only like 50 away, somewhere around there. Yep, uh, 49. So nothing on the TV got to worry about, so we will leave. Oh. Hello, Kratos. You see this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, do you think this farm could use a good cat? Uh, yeah, sure. Choose a name. Uh, if I knew how to spell it off by heart. But I just quickly got it right there. Oh. I think this is how you spell his name. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I'm going for. Let me just double check quickly, just in case. All right, we're good. Well, little Atreus, you be a good kitty now, okay? Yes, boy, be a good kitty. <laughs> Anyways, what you have to do for the cat- Hey, my parsnips are ready. What you have to do for the cat is just water the bowl up here every day. Otherwise, he will die. I'm gonna have to go get some more parsnips here. Oh, I also completed the one quest, that's right. Water those. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Raising animals, build a coop. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. Okay. There we go, we got that. And as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. All right, well, let's see what we got in the mail here. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to... What? Per, per swan? What? I, I've never seen that word before. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Per swant. Per swant, I guess. To init, initiate, I don't know. L61091 Georgia Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. What's with all these big words? Giving me all these big words. I don't want no big words, man. Okay, let's get rid of this maple seed. That's actually for a tree, ain't it? No, I don't want that. I don't like it. I don't know if I want it, I'll put it right there. Um, oh, actually, quick. Okay, let me see. I will sell all but one parsnip because I want to see how much I can get from Pierre for the parsnip to see if it's worth waiting or should I just give it to him like right away. Well, at least today everyone's going to be at the uh, saloon later tonight. I just got to get a couple more wood here. I'm not too sure. How much gold I'll get for the person up here. Oh, we have a quest. Help wanted. I need herring for to power my latest invention. It's only it's the only thing. I'm very sorry. My reading's very off today. I need herring to power my latest invention. It's the only thing that will work. Maru. 90 gold on delivery. Well, I know where herring is. Who's oh Lewis's birthday's coming up. I want to try and remember everyone's birthday. It's locked, opens at nine. Okay, well, I know where to get a herring if they decide to show up. 
was just down here. So, I'll do that. Probably, I guess I could have got uh, the rest of the wood before I came down here, but it's all right. So I was having good luck at that little bubble spot. Those two seagulls are kissing over there. Hey, Willie. If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. All right. Okay, it was like right here. I got the herring. I just got to get one and then I can bring it right to Meru. Meru. Very calming fishing. Also, there is a fishing game uh, coming out later this month, August. Yes, I'm filming this in July because I want to get a bunch of videos and whatnot uh, batch recorded because my podcast starts this month, August 14th, on my birthday. So I want to get as many stuff ahead of schedule as I possibly can. So, oh, that works. And, uh, what was I talking about? Wow. I just completely blanked out right there. Um. <laughs> oh boy, I swear I'm not nervous whatsoever. I, I, I just completely forgot. Oh, sorry, I was fishing. Um, there's a game coming out later this month in August called Call of the Wild, The Angler. So I'm thinking of streaming that on the channel here. All right, 35 gold. Okay, remember that. So I'm thinking of streaming that. It's literally just a fishing simulator game, it seems like. Which I don't mind those type of games. Haven't played a lot of them. If any. Played any. I've like dibbled and dabbled a little bit in them, but they seem nice, calm, and relaxing. And now that I'm getting older in age, I think. I think it's a good idea that I play those games since I can't actually go do it. I mean, I could. Just. Too much hassle getting a license. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. He's a basement dweller. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. Oh, I'll make him warm up to me. Oh. Maru! I got your fish. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. I had to carry 10 boxes of medical files to the attic. All right, well, here's your fish. Oh, that's exactly what I need to power my latest invention, Kratos. Thank you. What do you mean you were sore from work yesterday? Is that Mjolnir up there? Good enough friends. What do you mean I'm not good enough friends with you? Move! Let me go talk to your Faja. Demetrius. Demetrius, whatever. Robin has a hot temper. Is that what turned you on to her? It's better to stay on her good side. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Your lover over there said you have a hot temper. Just, just letting you know. Sebastian, what are you doing? What are you doing on that computer, boy? I saw you zip your pants. Can't hide that. Okay, let's get these trees going here so I can build that bridge. Oh, there's bubbles going on up there, but I'm not going to bother. I want to get this tree done. And this bridge, sorry. Tree, bridge, it's all the same. It's all wood. I guess I could have took the upper path there. Oh well. Um, should I? He opens at 12, right? Yeah, 12. 30 minutes. Well, I'll cast my rod in here. In the water, even though by the time I get over here, it's going to take 30 minutes. Try and catch a fish. Just because I want to buy something. In case my energy goes low. I should have money for something to increase it. Take a drink of my water. Hey, Pam. How you doing, darling? She's actually frozen. Why is she frozen? Does time freeze when you're catching fish? Smallmouth bass. Bam! Each day is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. Okay. The food at Jojamar might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. How do you think Pierre feels? I th Wait. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. 
Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more the, than last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? Sure. I guess it is, actually. Need a drink? No! Hey, Gus. I want... 220 gold for a salad. Jeez, man! Roadside... Road... Roadside? Yeah, roadside robbery. Um... I just need something that gives me... A good amount of energy, but it's also cheap. I guess I'm gonna have to go with the bread. Yep. Yeah. I guess I did have a fish, but I'm gonna sell it. Alright, let's go get this last wood here. Actually, I'll talk to Lewis. I hope things are going well on Sparta Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. What are you trying to say? Uh, what are you, Caroline? Yeah. It's a fine looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Alright, carry on. Got a marimba in the background. I think that's what that is. Could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong on a couple occasions in my lifetime. Not everybody's perfect. You're the bigger person if you admit when you're wrong. Okay, so yeah, I'll see how much it is. Let me sell my smallmouth bass. See how much one parsnip is in there. If it's the same price for one, then there's really no point in using that box. Pretty much if you want to like sell something and you don't want to go too far. Or I guess if the stores are closed too. Probably in the next day we'll go to Pierre's shop there and get some more seeds because I can't plant any right now. Can't buy anything. Spent all the gold there on the pack sack. Uh, probably one more tree should do it. Like one more big tree. Like this should be good. Oop, that's an acorn. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, just one more. That's literally it. One more tree. I'm at 293, so... I technically just need the stump, I believe. No, okay. Well, that's alright. There, got 307. I also got a geode. What are the odds I can get to Clint before he closes in 50 minutes? Probably very slim. I think he closes at four. Could be six, actually. Watch, I'm gonna get there and he's gonna close his doors. Guarantee that's what's gonna happen. Oh, I can't even talk to Evelyn. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I talked to you, old woman, but... I got ten minutes. I'm not gonna make it. If it closes at four, I'm not making this. Oh yeah, I got the pack sack. I don't even worry about space. Clint! No! You, you little tease, you dirty little blacksmith. Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. That's a bad thing. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. One time I found a really old piece of pottery. I thought this was a pottery. I bought it to Gunther and he said it was an over a thousand years old. I thought he had nothing in his museum though. I don't know you. Okay, well, you gotta talk to someone to get to know them. I know your parents and everything say don't talk to strangers, but everyone you meet's a stranger. That's just how it is. Evelyn, you old bay, get over here. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish you'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. <gasps> eyes. Did you guys see those eyes? Sebastian! Uh, I don't really know you. You can talk to me, though. You can still talk to me if you don't know me. How are you supposed to know me if you don't talk to me? Anyways, let's go make that bridge. Terabithia. That is a sad movie. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen that movie. It's very sad. I haven't seen it in a while, but... Alright, let's make this. Use 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge? Yes! Yes! 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. We even have some stuff for me to grab. Sea urchin. Coral. Coral! Coral. 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 Clam. <gasps> Hello, wormies. Oops. Gold ore. Fancy that. Actually, two more days, and then the uh, mine should be available to me. Willie! Right. The fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. A quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. Okay. I guess everyone's going to the saloon now, eh? You can catch me at the saloon most nights. Animals are great company, but I need to spend time with people too. Everybody should be up in here, eh? Except the kids. I don't think... Uh, I guess I didn't talk to Shane. Don't you have work to do? Hey, man, you don't gotta do me like that. Sam! Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of a topspin, maybe I could. Uh, I'm not very good. Practice, young Padawan, practice. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Actually, I'm recording this on a Saturday, so it's somewhat close. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. That's not very nice, Sebastian. Can you buy this? For 75 gold, yeah. I was told you could play these arcade games. I might do those in a future date. What's going on over here? Anything of hidden value? Pressing that A button. Maybe I'm going to find some. That's secret. Secret, secret. No, nothing. Those are probably just like whiskey barrels. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. One thing that irritates me very muchly, I will explain in a second. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Well, yes, it's Friday. Everyone's here on a Friday. Aw, uh, look at them dancing. Um, Spooky out here. One thing that ticks me off the most from, like, radio stations, uh, obviously when you're driving in your car or you hear people say, Yeah, it's Friday. It's the weekend. I'm going to get... Hammered, I'm gonna have a groovy grand old time. One thing that really grinds my gears is people that work on the weekends. Nobody takes them into consideration. I'm just selling all these. Like, it really irks me. Like, I understand, like, the way that some people say it, like, uh, their Friday is like a Wednesday or something, but it just irks me when, like, other people say it. Like, hey, it's Friday. What are you doing Friday? I'm working. What are you doing Friday? Going to the bar. It's the difference. If you don't go to school, if you only have a job and you're just working, not doing anything else, it doesn't matter if you have the weekend. Doesn't matter if you have a Friday off or a Saturday. Just matters if you have two days in a row. And yes, I understand if somebody has kids, you want to be with your kids on the weekend if they go to school. I understand that. But just in general, like let's say you're an average Joe like me, man. And you don't do anything else. You don't have kids. You don't go anywhere. Then all you do is work and then die and then cry and then spiral out of control. It doesn't matter. Anyways, that's just my little rant. Probably means nothing, but... I don't know. I'm just a strange, sad individual, okay? I love you. Please make sure to hit that like button as well. Subscribe with the notification bell. My cat over here loves me. Because I love you. Go to bed. Hey! Wow, I got that pretty quick. Level 1 farming, plus watering can proficiency, plus 1 hoe proficiency. New craft and recipe, scarecrow. And I got basic fertilizer as well. Oh, I leveled up my foraging as well. Axe proficiency, and I can make a survival burger. Isn't that just a regular burger? Okay, how many do I get for one parsnip? 30, okay, it doesn't matter. 
you can sell them here in the box or you could sell them to Pierre. It don't matter. Oh, I actually got quite a bit there. Nice. But all right, that's going to do it for me. Like I said there, hit that like button as well. Subscribe with the notification bell. Comment down below what you guys are enjoying of this series here. And um, tell all your friends and family about me as well. That would be awesome. That would mean the world to me. I, I, I could not thank you all enough for all the support that I've been getting on videos, all feedback that I've gotten in the past from like my friends and my my girlfriend and, and everyone else that has commented on these videos. It, it, it really means a lot. It puts a smile on my face to know people actually listen to me for once in my life and they enjoy what I do. Jeez, I'm just, okay, I'm going to end this before I get dark and depressing. But thank you and uh, that's it for me. Uh, take care, everyone, and bye-bye.